Okay, these exercises are pelvic floor exercises, or commonly called Kegel exercises. Um, and what they are is just gentle, uh, very slow and gentle contractions of your pelvic floor muscles. So the muscles on the bottom of your pelvis that help to support your reproductive organs and your intestines and um, things like that. Um, they're very good exercises if you have any sort of incontinence, uh, urinary incontinence or fecal incontinence. Uh, or stress incontinence and very, very, very good exercises and very important exercises to be doing um, for new moms or any, any male that has just had any sort of prostate surgery. So what you, what you can imagine doing is holding your urine um, midstream or, if, or just holding your pee um, if you can't make it to the toilet. Um, you need to contract those pelvic floor muscles to, to, to stop yourself from going to the washroom. Um, so that's something you can mentally think about to sort of engage the correct muscles, okay? So what you're going to imagine is, and again, it's a very small, gentle contraction. Um, you're not going to be exerting a lot of force by any means. Um, it's about 10% of a maximal contraction, so it is very light. And it's important that you do the contraction slowly and that you hold them, okay? So you can start off by holding your contraction for five seconds, and um, it's very hard to show you anything, um, but but trust me, things are going on down there. Um, so you just want to imagine holding your urine midstream and you'll just feel a gentle tightening and a lift and then you hold for five seconds and then you release and that's it. Um, something you can do if, you, if you're not sure if you're uh, doing the exercise properly, you could take a towel or, um, or just something soft and stuff it right under there. And that, what that does is it just gives you a bit more feedback so you can feel the contraction a bit more, okay? And then you basically just do the exact same contraction in this position with something underneath. And again, that's just for feedback. Um, another thing you can do is, um, if you're comfortable with it, you can actually feel with your, with your fingers and your hand, um, you can feel the area in between uh, your anus and your either penis or vagina, if you're a man or woman. Um, you can actually feel with your fingertips and again, you're just feeling a very gentle lift, okay? And it's, it's not a big movement, it's millimeters, but it is, it is, um, it is palpable, okay? Um, so again, to progress this exercise, you can hold for longer, okay? So you, you ideally should be able to hold these contractions for up to two or three minutes um, at a time. Uh, so you can hold them longer or you can hold them as you move, okay? So you can hold it, you can contract, and stand up and then you can relax and if you feel yourself relax if you feel those pelvic muscles relax then you know you're doing the contraction properly